Hey kids, I'm Pastor Angie. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever played hide and seek? I am actually the hide and seek champion of my house. You know why? Because I hid for 20 minutes and no one found me. I actually had to give up. And you know what? Hiding places can be super cool. They help us feel so safe. God is one of those safe places. But we'll talk a little bit more about how awesome God is. First, we're gonna head on over to Pastor Ashley and see what she's up to. Hi kids, I'm Pastor Ashley. And you might be afraid of things, but guess what? There's always someone we can turn to. Let's go ahead and worship Jesus with all of our hearts and all of our strength today. Come on, get up, let's go. Feel the wonder, say his name. Watch the darkness slip away. Put your power on display. Say goodbye to fear and shame. things you may be afraid of. The truth is everyone gets scared, but the Bible tells us God is here to help us when we, are, we get scared. Let's go up and do our American Sign Language Memory Verse for the month of November. Together and immediately afterwards, we're going to play a game. Let's do it! Psalm 95 verse 1. Come, let us sing for joy to the Lord. Let us shout aloud to the rock of our salvation. Psalm 95 verse 1. Come, let us sing for joy to the Lord. Let us shout aloud to the rock of our salvation.
So what do you guys normally do when you're scared? Okay. Well, from now on, I want you to remember this big idea and trust God instead. Because so this week's big idea is this. I am not afraid because God can be trusted. Let's check out what Cool Carl's up to today. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Everything's okay. It's okay. We're all going to sing together to make stuff happy. <laughs> Hi there, you little chicken nuggets. It's me, Carl. Welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Carl. Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome to Grow TV. You can do this. You are Carl. You are not afraid. There's nothing to be afraid of. Whew. Hey, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Hey, what is that? Who's there? Oh, <laughs> that's just the cut out of myself. So since last time I saw you, I've been doing some reading in the old Bible. For the most part, so much of it is super encouraging and exciting. But there's some parts, if I'm being honest, are a little scary. I mean, look here. We have a flood that covered the whole earth. We have a fish that eats a guy? I mean, he spits him back out alive, but still. There's this one guy that beats up a bunch of other guys with a jawbone of a donkey? Okay, that one's kind of cool. But still, lots of scary stuff, and it gets me worried. I mean, these people who went through scary stuff, they believed in God. And I believe in God. And that means I'm bound to have some scary stuff happen to me. And I ain't ready for that. Look at me. Do I look like some fearless warrior like Samson? If David was a shepherd, I'm more like one of those helpless lost sheep that he watched over. I'm just scared, guys. Ah! Oh. My computer. <laughs> hey there, Sonya. Carl, how's it going? Pretty good, Sonya. I was just talking about how scared I am. Oh no, what are you scared for? Well, I just read all about the terrifying things that happen to people who follow God in the Bible. It just scares me that something like that could happen in my life. Oh, I see. So what do you think you should do? I'm not sure, Sonya. I figured you might have some ideas. Well, do you remember the story of David and Gath? I don't think so. Is Gath the nickname for Goliath? No, it's actually a place. A long time ago, David was being threatened a lot, and one day he was taken to a place called Gath. Against his will? Yep. Even though he didn't want to go, he was brought there, and they were planning on hurting David. That's awful! It sure was, and David was afraid. What? David? Afraid? That dude defeated Goliath! I know it's crazy, but it's true. So David came up with a plan, and his plan was, well, different. What happened? Well. David acted like he was going crazy, started making marks on all the doors and gates, crawling on the ground and slobbering all over his face. Wow, that's really weird. Did it work? Believe it or not, it did. His enemies left him alone. But the thing is, David was afraid, and so he did what he thought he should do to stay safe. I guess so. It makes me feel somewhat good knowing that David got scared sometimes. Yeah. But we should know that God is very powerful, and God can remove fear from every one of us. Is that really true? Of course. In Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10, it tells us not to fear because God is with us. In Psalm 56, it says, In God I trust, I shall not be afraid. Did you know that David actually wrote Psalm 56 while in Gath? Wow, I never knew that. He was praising God even when his life was in danger. <laughs> That's awesome. You see, Carl, Sure, the Bible is full of scary things that happen to followers of God, but that's kind of the point. Anyone can be put into a scary situation, but for people who know and love God, that situation is a chance for us to put our faith in God. And when we do that, it not only deepens our faith, but maybe others who don't follow God just yet. Wow, I never thought about it like that. I guess it helps knowing that we can trust God and God takes away our fear. Absolutely. I know we all want to be able to wake up every day and say, I am not afraid because God can be trusted. Sonia? <laughs> That's our big idea! Today's big idea is, I'm not afraid because God can be trusted. That's right. So let's say it out loud on the count of three. One. Two. Three. three. I, I am, am not, not afraid, afraid because God, God can be trusted. Yes, God can be trusted. Yeah. Now, are you afraid anymore, Carl? I'm not. Isn't that wonderful? That's great. So you don't care about that scorpion on your shoulder? 
Nope. Good. <laughs> Just kidding. See you next week, kids. <laughs> Thank you for watching, and tune in next week for a new episode of Road TV. Hey, how's it going today? I'm here at the doctor's office with my mom, and I'm feeling a little nervous. My doctor is really nice and all, but today I'm getting a checkup, and that makes me feel kind of afraid. Raise your hand if you ever feel afraid. Really? Me too. Maybe you are afraid of the dark, or a monster, or a sandwich. One time I left my sandwich in my lunch bag for a whole week. When I found it, I thought it had turned into a swamp monster with the amount of fuzz and green goo on it. Everyone feels afraid from time to time. In fact, the Bible is full of stories of people who felt afraid sometimes. But over and over again, God showed up for those people and said, Don't be afraid. I'm right here with you. Even when we feel nervous or scared, we can still trust God. We can go to God with what bothers us. And God promises to be right there with us. The Bible tells us that when we are afraid, we can put our trust in God. Next time you're afraid, you can try saying this verse over and over again. When I am afraid, I will put my trust in you. Psalm 56, 3. Or you could sing a song that reminds you that God's with you. Or you could pray to God. Or draw a picture to thank God for never leaving you. God is with us in the good and the scary times. God is with us no matter what. You know what? Thinking about how God is always with me helps me feel more brave. I'm going to keep that in mind today when I see the doctor. So next time you feel afraid, remember, God can always be trusted. Psalms 56, 1 through 4 says this, Be merciful to me, my God, for my enemies are in hot pursuit. All day long they press their attack. My adversaries pursue me all day long. In their pride, many are attacking me. Verse three says, when I am afraid, I put my trust in you, in God whose word I praise, in God I trust and am not afraid. What can mere mortals do to me? Hmm. David wrote Psalms 56 when he had been captured by the Philistines and was taken to Gath. He was not so afraid of the king that he pretended, guess what, to be mentally ill so that his captors wouldn't think he was a threat. And then he was able to escape. Sounds kind of scary, huh? Throughout this time, David remembered God, who is more powerful than any king, and wrote that he will trust God even when he is afraid. You see, when we are afraid, we can put our trust in God. God will always take care of us. God can always be trusted. I wanna do a project with you. You guys ready to see this? Okay, so I'm gonna pour some baking soda in here. We all have fear inside of us for different reasons, right? But God promises to take care of us and knowing that will help push fear out of our hearts. See? Everyone gets scared, but we can trust God to take care of us. Maybe you're still learning how much God loves you and how he sent his only son to bridge the gap between him and us. See, he sent Jesus to pay for the punishment of sin by dying on the cross for us. So if you've never asked Jesus to be your best friend and leader of your life, I want you to know it is easy as A, B, C. A, admit that you have sinned against God and have made mistakes. B, believe that Jesus died on the cross for your sins and rose again on the third day. C, confess Jesus as the savior of your life and commit to following him. So, pretty cool. Let's close out in a worship song and kids, let's just listen to what the Holy Spirit has to say to us today.
Know that I'm praying for you, praying that you have a super special week this week. I love you big. All right, everyone, know that you're super special. We love you super big, and you big. Give yourself a tight squeeze, and we'll see you next week. Bye.